Hello, welcome back. This is Kench1913. Along with Ghosty Films. And we're Let's Playing Super Mario Brothers 2. In the last episode, Dan was able to get through World 2. And now he's at the boss of World 2. And he's fighting a Hydra. Triclide. Triclide. I'm glad you remember the names. I like to make a little barrier there so all those things hit it. Are you always used to go balls of the walls against this guy? Yeah? Yeah, I just take I thought you went to World 4. I do, but when I used to play it and go to this level, I would go balls to the wall against this guy. I just, I just say, screw you, and bam, get him. Happy music. Yay! Yay! Oh, yeah! Anyways, um... Yeah, we, uh, last episode... Oh, if you're enjoying our funny ha-has, make sure to check out kr47.com. Hell, even subscribe to the kr47.com channel if you'd like. They put these little, uh, get, like, slot machine segments in there because the Mario Brothers are notorious gamblers. Oh, yeah. They have a big problem with gambling. Oh, yeah. So now Dan's at World 3. So who is the princess of this oh, level? Oh, you screwed up. No! Isn't that cool, though, people? You think that's a pit to heck, but now it's just a... It's actually a cool waterfall. I love this level, by the way. Yeah. It was one of my one of my favorite levels due to the fact that what the level you warp to? The waterfall level. Because it's just amazing. See, Toad would be best for this, but sorry, you got it. Anyways, uh, I think we were discussing earlier that um, what the heck is it? That uh, what are you doing? I'm getting more coins. Okay, fair enough. And then I'm gonna warp. Anyways, I believe we were discussing last episode. If you're interested in seeing the way I play this game, even though you'd have to watch this game all over again, then maybe I'll go to various other worlds. Let me know. Let us know in the comments section. I know you'll be watching it twice, but we're pretty funny, and if you'd like us, I guess, if you want to see more. Yeah. Just let us know. Maybe anyway, it will be funnier because we run out of our memory lane thing. Yeah, I mean, I talked about how awesome this game was and how me and my brother killed our TV with this game. It was amazing. Hmm. What a fun game. I have nothing but fond memories for this game. Anyways, Dan's gonna warp to World 5. Yep. I can count. And identify numbers when they're written on the screen. Yes, I can. Now, as you see, World 5 is Night World, and the Shy Guys are riding ostriches. I don't want the Shy Guy, I want the bird. And what's funny is that the ostriches is... <laughs> their legs are still moving as you uh, do whatever. I don't know what whatever is, but when you do it... Oh, I remember this level now. I love this level. I hate this level. Wanna know why? One right. word. Logs. Log jamming. That's a porn and a... <laughs> <laughs> it is. <laughs> I think log jamming is a pornography video. Uh, Anyways, I don't like this level for precision jumping. You know why I use it this level, man? Who? Oh! Oh! You're dead. I don't usually do that. A little girl who has a dress. Oh. The only lady in the game. I use the princess of this area most of the time. Because I just hover over everything. Mm. Dan will be showing off the princess's abilities in... Probably the last level. Yeah, because Dan's... Dan likes... Dan likes playing with the boys, and then at the end... Whoa, don't want to make that mistake again. Doing stuff with the girls, if you know what I mean. Whoa. You're just playing with the boys, right? Yep. Is that the name of that song? Just wait. I think maybe this is where the playing with the boys. I think it's let's hear it for the boys. Oh yeah, well Dan likes to hear it from the boys. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And now uh, it's very um, it's very dangerous to what is it? It's very dangerous to uh, pick up those fish while you're on them. Yep. Because then you fall to your death. You do fall to your death. And if you die in your dream world. The game's over. Can you get five of those little diamond things? No, only four. Okay, then I know where the other one is. There's no five. Five? They're not even diamonds. I mean, Whoa. I guess they're diamonds. Let me ask you this, viewers. Does anyone remember the Mario Brothers and Zelda cereal? Well, my uncle used to run, uh, run his own grocery store. Uh, 
they were there and I ate them and they were all right. <laughs> and they were all right. But to go back to dying in your dream, um, basically if that happens, the game is over. Well, not really. But, but yes. This Birdo now only shoots fire. Whoa. Uh oh. His name is actually... Whoa. His name is actually Dylan. Ah! <laughs> and he spits hot fire. Hey, you're right. Whoa. Yeah. The three greatest rappers of all time is Dylon, Dylon, and Dylon. You're right, Pete. I am totally right. Hopefully they'll get it this time. Yeah, come on, people. Dave Chappelle. If you haven't seen his video oh, or, his, one? or his show, please get oh. out of the rock that you've been living under. No. Oh, that was an O, not a zero. So instead of going... So after nine, they decided just to go letters. Yeah. Oh. Which is fine with me. Oh, come on, Dan. Dan, you stink at this. You have so why do you even need to pick up all these coins? You can win the game with 17 lives. I'm not that good. You sure? Because I can beat the last guy really easily. Let's see, if I'm having trouble, then I'll just give it to you. 18 Dude. guys won't do it, really, Dan. No. <laughs> really? <laughs> I've, I've gone through like 25 guys. Because I haven't, when I was a kid, I could do it, but now I was playing it the other day, and I and I had like 25 guys when I was fighting Wart, and I just went through all of them. Dan, what? I know what you lost that you used to have as a child. My mojo? Your innocence. Whoa, you're right. It got stolen away from you. Yeah. And that's why you can't beat him. Because I, was, I heard that pure innocent boys are the only people who can beat Wart. Really? Yep. Spoiler alert, people. There's no Bowser at the end of this game. Only Wart, and he's a big Wart that's on a guy's face, and you have to fight that Wart. I'm sucking at this gambling. I'm going oh. into debt, big oh. time. Yeah, you totally didn't cash out at all. Nope. Dan did not cash out. Oh, more log jam in action in World 5-2. That's right, Dan. Log jamming. <laughs> I can think of this like some... Weird <laughs> pornography. Du double teaming. <laughs> <laughs> well, have you ever seen Requiem for a Dream? There's a double team scene in that one. That's amazing. Really? Yeah, Jennifer Conley. Wowee. That movie should be called How to Become a Crack Whore. Huh. Because that's what ends up happening. Oh, at least they have a bomb in this game. I mean, they have bombs, but the walking bomb. I'm talking about. And now look at Luigi. He's what? a short little What fella. happened to him? Now, is that, is that, let me ask you this, Dan. What? Do you think that's Luigi's real height? I think so, because when, because I always thought that Super, when, in Super Mario Brothers, his real height is when he's short, and then he gets mushroom and becomes Super Mario. Yes. See? So they're actually short as hell. Yeah. And I cannot Or everybody's believe. a giant, and. Yeah. Look at that, Dan is back. Top or something. Ooh, Dan just killed some porcupines. Yep, I kill porcupines. It's my, uh, it's my occupation. So yeah, we didn't see these enemies yet, but these are ladybug things. Dan, what's the name? Remember? Um, ladybugger. Mm, yeah. Ladybuggery. <laughs> I don't know, but I. All I know is that Daniel Tosh, at least he mentioned about the movie Ladybugs. All right, he brought some Ladybug references. He did? Yeah. Was, did you see Tosh Point all like a couple weeks ago? I don't have a television. No, oh, yeah. But yeah, he he was. They were talking about soccer, and he was just talking about the Ladybugs the movie, which was hilarious. Huh. Because Ladybugs movie, the movie is pretty funny too. Rodney Dangerfield, and they get a soccer player, but it's really a dude. Huh. And he dresses up as a girl so he can win a soccer thingy. It's friggin' hilarious. You should probably check it out if you love Rodney Dangerfield. Or even like him. You even like like him? You can even like like him. That's right. I don't condone like liking. I only condone love. <laughs> what about hate hating? Uh, I'd rather you not hate at all unless unless you're just a pile of hate and that's really all your uh, that's really all you got. It's like Mega Man. It kind of reminds me of Mega Man, but Mega Man didn't Dr. Come Wily made this level. I think Dr. Wily stole his ideas from Mario Brothers really? too. I think so. Dude. I'm gonna throw a fish at this guy. 
Too bad you can't pick him up and throw him. Yeah. That's all you do, Dan, is throw fish? Yeah. If you had the opportunity to throw seafood at a giant, hideous monster, wouldn't you? You know what? I don't think that's very nice to say that about Birdo. I mean, I think sure, she's got a couple of freckles. I thought he was a guy, but he thought he was like I thought he was like the first kind sure, of sexual. Sure, he's got he's he she's got a couple of freckles, but there's no reason to call he she hideous. Uh, alright, he's he she is saving up enough money for the operation. So you you're, so what you're saying is that you would nail that? I would nail he she. Anyways, we're gonna have to stop here. Uh, this has been Kenshin 1916. <laughs> 1913. <laughs> and we're let's uh, and ghosty films. Ah uh, yes. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>